hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel on today's video we'll be making this beautiful shared dress with collar and front zip okay it's easy it's simple and easy to make i used two and a half yards of ankara fabric and half yard of black material for it for all our subscribers, we want to say thank you. And for those who haven't subscribed, please like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. God bless you guys. I mark out the relevant lines that are needed for this shirt dress. The shoulder line, the chest line, the bust point line, and your waistline. I also included the hip line. From the hip line, you just draw it down to the length you want it to be. The shoulder measurement I'm using for this dress is eight and half inches, which is 17 inches divided by two, gave me eight and half inches. So I mark my eight and a half inches and you're going to come down by one inch for the shoulder slope. From that one inch, you connect it straight to your neckline. Okay, so come down by one inch, and from that one inch that you came down with, you're going to mark it straight to your neckline. So for the neckline, I use three inches for the wideness. And for the depth, I use three inches. So I connected my neckline and connected the shoulder slope to it. What I did next was I inserted the bust measurement. But before doing that, I added half an inch to it because I'm going to do the zipper and i'm going to open up that part and attach the lining so that half an inch was what i used to sew the lining piece to the main fabric so the bust measurements that i'm using is 42 42 divided by 5 42 divided by 4 sorry about that is going to give you 10.5 you mark your 10.5 and you use half an inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance. So approximately everything became two inch. So I inserted my 10.5 plus two inch, which made it 12.5 inches. So you mark that. When you are done marking it, you are going to go over to that your arm O line and you divide what you have by two. What I have was eight inches divided by two gave me four inches then i came in by half an inch then you use your curve ruler or you can use your hand but i advise you use your curve ruler to connect the arm off come over to the waist and for our waist our waist measurement is 36 36 divided by four is nine so you are going to mark the nine inches after marking the nine inches you add your extra two inch that we added for the bust part so you add your two inch the reason we are adding the two inch remember is half inch for the center front that we are going to open and one and a half inch for sewing allowance and ease come over to your hip and you are going to mark your hip measurement whatever you have divide by four then add your two inch sewing allowance Take your ruler and connect the lines together. After connecting the lines to the hip, come over to the hip and draw a straight line down to where you want your dress to stop. So take your straight ruler and draw a straight line directly. You can either do that or you use the hip measurement and mark it on your M line. But what I did, I just connect it with a straight line. We're going to use this to connect our back we are doing everything together so just mark your back arm on line and for the side of your dress remember we use two inch so for the back we are going to use one and a half inch so when i'm cutting my own after cutting out the two inch i'm going to remove one and a half inch from it so that was what i did to save time so for the back neckline i use one and a half inch for the back neckline so connect it and cut out your fabric then i added half an inch for sewing allowance for the shoulder before cutting out the back piece i placed the front on the back and i came out a bit by 
half an inch okay so that half an inch that i added i just drag it up a bit and that was what i used for the back pattern so you're just going to cut it out come over to your front and open it up when you are done opening it up you are going to take it and use it to cut out your lining piece i've cut out the lining piece for both the front and the back so what you are going to do you are just going to join the sides together you take the lining and the main fabric place it together and join the sides together and the, the bottom part okay so you are joining just the two sides left and right and the bottom part of our fabric so you join it for both the front piece and the back piece join the side and the bottom then turn it press it and we're going to continue with our dress i've finished stitching it and i've ironed it what you're going to do next you're going to join the shoulder to shoulder together after joining the shoulder to shoulder together we are going to take the measurement of that so we are going to do the shoulder to shoulder together before we cut out our collar so that is what we are going to use to get the size of our collar i'm done stitching the shoulder to shoulder i've ironed it up so i'm going to take the measurement and what i have was 20 inches just measure it round 20 inches so that is what we are going to use for our collar We'll be drafting the collar on our pattern paper. So the neck measurement was 20 inches divided by 2. So we're going to divide by 2 and I had 10 inches. So you mark your 10 inches. After marking the 10 inches, you are going to come up by half an inch. After coming up by half an inch, from that 10 inches that you mark, you are going to divide it into 2. So the 10 inches that we got divided by 2 is going to give us 5 inches. So you are just going to mark 5 inches. From that 5 inches that you mark, connect it to the half an inch that you have. Okay, so the 5 inches that we have as the midpoint of the 10 inches, connect it to the half an inch. After connecting it with your curve ruler, you are going to go to that center front the cut on fold part and you are going to come up by one inch down to that 10 inches that we mark or that half an inch on top of the 10 inches so you just connect it by one inch when you get to that five inches that we mark you connect it even the half an inch you are still going to use one inch for it so just mark it after marking it you are going to connect the line use your straight ruler to connect the line then after connecting the line i came in on the upper part of the one inch the one inch that we have now that one inch line that we drew i came in by half an inch and i used the there's a circle part of my of my pattern master and i used that to connect the line so just give it a bit of an arc curve for that part so we've gotten our color stand when you are done cut it out just cut it out and you've gotten your color stand so you are going to mark that part that does not have the curve that is a cut on fold so you won't cut it into two you'll be cutting it cut on fold for the color we are still going to use our 10 inches that was divided so you are going to mark your 10 inches and after marking your 10 inches i came up from that part with two and a half inches so just draw a straight line for it or you can just use the line of your pattern so i came up by two and a half inches i'm going to mark two and a half inches down to the 10 inches when you are done connect the line use your ruler and connect the line after connecting the line you make so you are going to make it as a bus okay it's going to be like a rectangle line so when you are done you are going to come in by one inch 
after coming in by one inch you are going to connect it to the tip of that 2.5 inch you connect the line so we've gotten one part of our collar then come over to the cut on fold part then you are going to come in by half an inch you are going to come up by half an inch that half an inch you just give it a bit of curve slant curve to wherever you want it to be so i did not take measurement i just use my head to get that so you just do it it's very little you are not going to take it in a bit so from that half an inch just give it a curve we are done with your collar stand and your collar next you cut it out and we are going to place it on a paper gum that i'm using so i'm using a paper gum you can use color gum for it but i'm using paper gum for mine so place it on your paper gum and you are going to cut it out cut both the stand and the collar out after cutting it out i will show you what to do next take the collar and the collar stand and you're going to place it on your fabric and iron it out i've placed it on my fabric and i've ironed it what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut it out and i'm going to be using half an inch on both sides so you'll be cutting half an inch around round it so you are going to also cut out two pieces okay the lining piece and the main piece so cut it out you are going to stitch the collar half an inch you are going to stitch it after stitching the collar with half an inch then we are going to attach it with the collar stand so i've already stitched the collar with half an inch and i'm going to place it in between the collar stand and i'm going to join it but before doing that you have to notch every part first then before you do that so i've notched it and i'm going to place it together and i'm going to start stitching it okay so you after notching it you stitch it round then what you are stitching is you are not going to stitch the part you did not notch you are only going to stitch the part that you notch you stitch it and leave half an inch follow the the part that has the color gum okay so that is what you are going to use as a guide so that it will be easy and also stitch it very close to the color gum stitch it very close to it so you stitch it around and you are going to turn it iron it and i'm going to show you what to do next i'm done ironing it i've stitched it and this is how it looks and i ironed in half an inch on my collar stand so that's the part i'll be using to close my collar so you are going to take your fabric now and you are going to pin the part that was not folded in you are going to pin it round your fabric the neckline after pinning it round <coughs> you are going to stitch it it's same way that you stitch your waistband and your bishop collar i'm going to refer you to the video of the bishop collar that i made so after stitching it round you are going to now use that part that was folded in that is what you are now going to use to close it okay so i'm going to pin it i'm going to stitch it and show you how it looks when i'm done so after stitching it i pinned it up okay so i pinned it up and this is how it looks after stitching so i'm going to pin it up and this is me pinning it up i've pinned it up and this is it so it's going to be like a flap you are going to lap it and you are going to seal it up it's like it's as if you are sealing something so just stitch it up so i've cut out the sleeve and i used four inches for the band that was what i used to cut out my band so you are going to open up the sleeve this way and you are going to fold your band into two and you are going to stitch it so that was what i did for mine i also used paper gum for it okay so after stitching it this way i add it to my fabric and i stitch it up i'm done with the collar and the side of our dress i've joined the collar and the side of the dress 
So what we are going to do next is to insert our zip. Lay your fabric on your table and you are going to place your zip but the zip is going to be underneath okay you'll be laying your fabric on top of the zip so you pin it up left and right so i just came down by half an inch and i started stitching my zip okay and the zip length was 30 inches so i stop at 25 inches and i close it up so just do the same thing for yours stop at the length you want it to be and you close it up you can also wear this dress as a jacket and a dress but my client wanted it to be just a dress so i just had to seal up that part for her but you can leave yours and just wear it as a jacket and also as a dress with front slits so you can do it both ways but i sealed mine up so just do that and i'm going to show you how it looks when i'm done sewing okay guys this is how it looks when i finish stitching it and it's so pretty i actually love the dress so i've closed it i've lapped it and it's looking so pretty and gorgeous so there's no slit but uh, like i said earlier you can open up that part and it's just going to be the slit for your dress thank you so much guys thank you for watching today's tutorial please don't forget to like and subscribe to our youtube channel for everyone who haven't subscribed for those who have subscribed god bless you and we love you so much god bless you everyone thank you and have a blessed day bye guys